Stanford. We are down to our, our planned final week here in this town that we initially came just to stay a week. So we did the St. John's River cruise and we intended Stanford just to be a turnaround point, yeah. reprovisioning, and then we we're going to go store our boat for the winter back up in Jacksonville. And it so happened our first day we were here, we're like, you know, I really would. This, there's so much in this town. Our first day walking around, we're like, this, we're going to regret only being here a week. And then Fain intervened. <laughs> Just almost immediately after we said that to each other, I got an email from the uh, marina up in Jacksonville. Someone who was in our slip had, had a medical issue. And they weren't going to be able to leave. And they asked if we could make other arrangements. <laughs> so we walked right over to the front desk at the marina here and said, Hi, are there any monthly spots open over the winter? And they're like, Sure, you'll have to move slips. One and slip over. One slip over. And we still ended up on this end with this amazing view. So it is about half the price to store the boat here in Sanford. So we thought, well, we'll just leave it here for the winter and then we'll still go return to our RVing. I think we're here like another week and we said, I don't want to leave here. This town is perfect. The weather is great. Uh, this was before we had experienced the mid storms, the bug attack. Uh, even that, you know, even that, I guess, little dark cloud sometimes here. <laughs> this town has just been wonderful and this marina has been fun and social and relaxing. So yeah, that's the first thing we experienced. We got in on <laughs> Halloween evening. It's Halloween. And what I are you dressed? I bet you don't know what I am. What it's are you dressed as? I have no clue. You look colorful. Apparently Chris says I'm his pirate. No, I'm the pirate. No, no, I'm his parrot. parrot. I'm the pirate parrot. You, you I don't know. Shoulder. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know if any <laughs> I don't know of many parrots with blue hair. Hey, I'm just happy I found a pirate outfit. But Sanford here does a really nice workout for Halloween. Look at this. Streets closed, trick-or-treating. Very impressive. And all of our dock mates invited us out to dinner with them and drinks and introduced <laughs> us to the town. Instantly and, grabbed us. And, and we made a lot of friends here on the dock. Um, a lot of amazing people. A lot of them kind of came in with the same intentions like eight, ten years ago. And they still just, haven't left just because Sanford sucks you in. It's just awesome like that. So we've been here four months. We're not going to be sucked in yet. We are leaving. Sure, what you're looking at. But I, I would not be surprised at some point in the future, this is a place we want to return to yeah, at some point. And, and part of what makes it so special, and of all the places we've been to, there's just so much right here within walking distance of this marina. So you walk off your boat and you've just got such a rich, magical town with such a great vibe. So it's historic downtown Sanford. And five, ten years ago, if you asked anyone in Central Florida, <laughs> or you told them you're going to Sanford, they probably would have gone, what? Yeah, it didn't because have the best reputation. It, it used to be a pretty rough neighborhood, but in the last five years or so, apparently it has just become one of these amazing little historic downtowns that's been revitalized. A lot of locally owned restaurants, there's, bars, there's, breweries, distilleries, um, salons, theaters, and there's really no chains at all. It's, 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 it's all really unique local small businesses that just really bring so much warmth and heart and diversity to this neighborhood. Lots of diversity. I think it really impressed us that the next weekend after we were here was Pride. Yes. And like, well, okay, this, there were rainbow flags everywhere yes. and that just touched our hearts. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, and, and there's so much art on display. There's music festivals and we, we've kind of discovered the official sign of Sanford is road closed for special event because at least it seems like two or three times a week, 
some part of downtown is closed off for something. Another night in Sanford. Just another day in Sanford, another closed street, and another party. <laughs> are at the Sanford um, Sofas and Suds um, Sofa Races, Recliner Races. Um, this is pretty darn cool. This town uh, knows how to throw a party. Never did I imagine boating would lead to so much furniture racing. Yeah, this is, we've had bed races and now we've got sofa races and recliner races. What's next? Ottoman races, probably. We're going to find a town with Ottoman races. All the dancers may be on the floor. Sanford and it seems like every day we walk by sometimes two or three times a day there's a road closed for some sort of special event some sort of fest parade well not so much parades but stuff going on all over this town and today we walk out and we're like oh what's going on this roads closed there's food trucks everywhere it's the bad and business beer fest we're like people standing in line to buy their passes to try a whole bunch of beers we just heard the announcement they're standing in line just to get their IDs checked it's actually bad at business because all the beer is free just get a Free pass. pass, and then they've got dozens and dozens of breweries donating beer to celebrate the art of craft beer. This town has got so much cool, ridiculous stuff going on. Free beer always tastes ten times better than paid beer, and this is actually pretty darn good. Free cheesecake. <laughs> There's every, I think it's the second Thursday of every month, there's, they close down the main tickets. street and yeah. it's live music and vendors and all sorts of fun stuff. So it's just been a wonderful place to be and have stuff constantly going on. There's two community theaters in town yes. and we love theater. So. so we've seen a lot of plays, we've seen a lot of musicals yes. and a lot of uh, tribute bands that have come through mm -hmm. town. So in Sanford is really centrally located between where my mom lives out in Melbourne and his parents winter over and near Spring Brooksville. Hill. So it's yeah. been a great place for us to get family time over the holidays. And because of well, Florida in the winter, there's so many of our RVing friends are just happen to be passing through and we're like, hey, stop it in Sanford. So we've had a constant stream of social work. a highly social place <laughs> and speaking of social as soon as we got in we discovered that longtime followers Sabina and Eckert live here in Sanford in fact Eckert is one of the performers over at the Willow Tree German restaurant oh And 
they've become dear friends to us in this time and we've been able to spend a lot of time with them uh, socializing and getting to know Sanford yeah. through their eyes. Yeah, and Willow Tree on a Friday or Saturday night is one of the most amazing experiences it is one of the few restaurants that you'll go to and there's a two hour wait for a table and it is worth it because the food's amazing and well the Jimmy and Eckerd show, the live That's entertainment great. is so fun. But there is so much amazing <laughs> local food here. Everything is a from the heart sort of restaurant. Um, we a lot. <laughs> One complaint about Sanford though. Oh, there it's a big is, complaint. It is a pretty big complaint. We love Thai and sushi. There's no Thai and sushi in historic downtown yeah, Sanford. We they, actually have to drive a few miles. Yeah, there, there, there really would crave some walking distance Thai. <laughs> Speaking of walking, there's a lot of walking to do around here. We have the river, what do they call it, the riverfront? Is that uh, the river official? walk? River I guess, walk. Yeah. It's about three miles round trip right now of just walking all along Lake Monroe, and it's great. I think we're each averaging about four to five miles a day yes. of walking between doing and, the river walk and going, just and, strolling and, around and town. And running too. Yep, yeah. we're both are mm -hmm. doing a little bit of running. We did a half marathon while we were here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a run through the lake, not just run through the woods. There's no going around it. Um, we've gotten caught up on medical. Um, yeah. One of the struggles when you're constantly in motion is finding a primary care physician and getting your annual physicals done. And we're reaching that age where that's important. Mm -hmm. So we were able to find a local doctor who's on our health insurance plan. And yeah, take advantage of a longer stay to make the appointments and get all that stuff handled. And boat, boat projects. projects. This, so many boat projects. Stanford is a great place to get boat projects done. There's a boat yard right here, uh, really reasonably priced. And a lot of uh, marine people, because you know they told us, just like, yeah. Over there. And um, so it's really easy. There's a lot of, you know, mechanics and um, boat contractors well, they, that are that they, come to Sanford and yeah. are local too. Yeah, and, and we found found the work here to be really affordable compared to along the coast. So we got kinda used to South Florida prices. <laughs> yeah, so we, we so, yeah, this is much better than South Florida pricing. So we've we've tackled um, so many projects here. We're, we're about to have our solar over our heads. We put new blinds in the living room. We did. We got the canvas done on the canvas boats. Canvas on the front. We got the uh, bolstery cushiony thing in the cockpit redone. The AC ductwork redone in the boat because that was a mess from a previous owner. Got the washer and dryer because yep, it new started leaking while we're here. Oh well, yeah. yeah we, and we had to rebuild the turbos on the boat. So that was a really big project: is taking the turbos off both engines and sending them off to rebuild and putting them back on. We've now owned the boat almost two years, so we're gonna do kind of a full walkthrough again and show you all the projects that we have done over the years and it's really mind-boggling when we go back and look at where why not began two years ago <laughs> and a lot yeah. of projects down here in it's, Sanford. It's been a busy two years. And and it's been a busy four months. We yes. definitely have well we've been still we have definitely not been idle here in no. Sanford. And and we've been working we relaunched the website for our business the Mobile Internet Resource Center so we had a ton of work too so it was really good that we had a nice home base to balance boat projects social life enjoying the local life and work. And we did a lot of everything here. We really did. It's been really a good balance. <laughs> I'm not ready to settle down anytime soon, but these longer stays are really good for Absolutely. balance, for community, for sanity, and for getting stuff done. Yeah, but I think Cherie, is, she's been feeling that itch the last few days of uh, ready to go down the river again. Yeah, producing the videos the last couple of weeks, getting us here, of, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, you just know when you, you're walking the same walking trails and they start to no longer feel new anymore, they, they're like, oh, okay, I'm getting bored mm -hmm. of this walking trail. And I'm surprised it took this long for it to hit for us. Yeah, four months. And it's actually our basically our, our second longest stay since we've been nomadic together in one place and just because we fell, fell in love with this place so much. Yep. Longest stay ever was when we moved over to the Virgin Islands, to the island of St. John. And we're on the St. John's River. Coincidence? <laughs> we, have a, we have a thing for St. John, I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we lived over in 2010, 2011. And that was a just over five months stay. Sanford, it has been awesome. We're going to miss you. And we'll see you next time. There will be a next time. Definitely. If you like these videos, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. 
We do these videos just for fun. So, your enthusiasm fuels the next one.